What's up guys, it's Roger and welcome back to the channel. And today I have another Blink Build video for you, but before we get into that, I do want to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed lately. I really appreciate it, and if you don't mind, leave a like on this video on everyone you watch because it really helps out with the algorithm. Beyond that, thank you to everybody who's joined the Discord lately. If you didn't know, we have a Discord made specifically for Blink Warlocks, so if you want to join that, I'll have that link down in the description. Otherwise, let's go ahead and get into the video. So we have a pretty fun build today here, and I'm excited to show it off to you guys. It's kind of funky one, but I wanted to try the shopping out for a long time, and after doing it, I had a pretty fun time. Once I got used to it, it was a lot more fun, but let me go over this with you guys. So, we're going to be using the Wastelander shotgun. If you haven't used this, I definitely recommend it. It is like, nothing feels as good as hip-firing this shotgun. It feels so accurate to get those one-shot kills while hip-firing this thing. It's crazy. I have slide shot killing wind. I wish I got the god roll, which is like the slide shot opening shot, but unfortunately I don't have that yet. But either way, love this shotgun. Pairing with that, we're going to be using a Devil's Ruin sidearm. If you don't know, this sidearm shoots a laser out of it when you hold down the uh, fire button. And that's always fun. Makes for some fun kills. The other thing about it is when you're, you can tap your entire magazine out shoot all your bullets just by using it as a regular sidearm but if you want to shoot the laser while you have one bullet left in the mag you can and it completely refills the magazine you can shoot that entire laser and that's something i'm going to highlight in a few of the plays i have today because i got to use that and it helps you get some double kills and it's really nice beyond that i have the ascendancy rocket launcher down here for our power weapon but i'm never really going to use that much and we are using Middle Tree. I love Nova Warp. It is my favorite thing to use with Blink. The combination of Blink and Nova Warp is one of the most fun things in the game to me. I have Axion Bolts on because I think they are too good not to use right now. So beyond that, there's not much else to tell. Except for my armor mods over here. I'm going to be using Sidearm Targeting on my helmet. I have two of those. I have two Shotgun Dexterities. And then I have Quick Charge on, actually. Which, you get charged with light when you rapidly defeat combatants with fusion rifles or shotguns. So we can get charged with light, we can get a double kill or something really fast with our Wastelander. And we also have it activated as second perk, which is greatly going to increase the ready speed of fusion rifles, shotguns, submachine guns, and swords. So I have this on, plus double shotgun dexterity, because we don't have quick draw on this. And the handling is pretty good, so that mixed with those mods is really going to let us pull our shotgun out very quickly. And we can get charged with light if we can get a double kill. Besides that, I have some unflinching sidearms, and everything else is not too crazy, so you can take a look and pause and look at those if you want to. But I think that's everything, so let's go ahead and jump in the game. So starting off here, we have my first match of this weapon, so I didn't really have my sea legs with it yet, and I wasn't completely sure what I was doing. But as you can see here, I show off how you can get to a low point in the clip, and even though I didn't have a full mag, I was still able to use that laser and secure that second kill, and then I swap onto this guy here really fast and take him out with a shotgun. That was a great start to this match. With this one, you can really see how the laser, if you keep it on the head, melts them so fast. And I wasn't very far away, but I did see behind me on the radar this guy was coming up. I was getting a lot of melee whiffs lately, and it almost screwed me over there, but fortunately I worked it out and was able to live. And this guy started peeking right when I went for a blink, which is too bad, but he wasn't quick enough and I was able to take him out until his buddy came and ruined my 10 streak. Now this play isn't too wild by any metrics, but it's just a little Nova War play I had. I get some way better ones later on in the video, so get ready for that. I didn't know that guy was going to get smacked by a sniper so unfortunately i popped a little early but that's okay i saw some enemies down here and they weren't looking at me so i decided to go in his teammate started shooting me from over there but it was all right i took him out and did a not fully charged one on him and then came in here and unfortunately it ran out at the worst time and that got me killed but that's all right but this play isn't too insane it's just a good little shotgun play so i rolled in here you can see this thing doesn't have very good range but i was able to take him out with two shots and that's why i like the fast sh shooting shotguns because you can just take that second shot and take the enemy out if you need to now this plan is to show off that you can use the sidearm in its regular tap fire mode, and even though I had 6 bullets left in the mag, I was able to fire the entire laser and get a quick double kill. Now in this play, I had two guys up here, I decided to hold the laser down and take out one of them to get a quick kill, then I threw my axion at this man, and unfortunately he was flying all the way away from it, so that was almost getting me killed, but I got a good shotgun blast and took him out with the help of that axion. Some people over here on my radar, and unfortunately this is a mistake I made where I should have just tap fired the pistol, but I went and held the laser down and that got me to a trade. So here we have a nice shotgun play where I like to show off the shotgun. I got a nice shotgun melee there. This guy jumps right into my shot and I knock him out. And I see on the radar someone's coming up, so I slide shot, take him out. Unfortunately, I only had one bullet left because I didn't actually reload there. And I bonked my head and that kind of got me killed. So I told you guys I had some better Nova War plays. This is one of those. Unfortunately, Hunter jump, you know, gotta love that. So he jumps over it, but he came back down and I took him out. 
Now, I saw some people outside here, so I decided to go for that. That guy, tip of the range, but I got him. Decided to blink forward here so I could save energy instead of using my shifts. And then with the last of my energy, I took that guy out and got a real nice set of kills. This is just here because I want to show you this really nice flick I got on this nasty little hunter jumping around on me, so I flicked over and put him in the dirt. So I just wanted to show that to you guys. So I happened to respawn here, it's pretty early in the game, and two guys were going and capturing Sea Flag. So I decided to jump over this box, get a nice shotgun melee on him, and then flick on that guy and take him out. Oh, I also have an ornament for the Devil's Ruin. It's in the store right now for Bright Test, so if you want that, go grab it. So I saw people on my radar, so I did a straight up blink here, slid in, hit my slide shot and my melee to kill him, and then I got this Invis Hunter who thought he was so sleek, but he's really not. Missed a lot of my shots there because that guy really surprised me when the second man jumped out. Blink over here and got a nice flick over, taking out my shotgun, and this guy domes me, so that kind of sucks. The beginning of this Nova Warp was pretty uneventful, but it's pretty nice here. Not got two guys, and there was an arc staff behind me, so I charged up a shot and then blew him to pieces, saved my teammates. So this play's pretty funny, and it highlights why I love the Nova Warp subclass so much. You have this melee ability that can just push people, so I launched that guy to his ultimate death and then blew that guy's eyes out of his head. Unfortunately, he was a little far for the laser to hit. But it has some enemies in front of me here. I guess I didn't actually reload my sidearm, which I thought I did, but guess not. Threw a rift down, this guy started jumping at me. I had to reload, but I did get the bullet off at the last second. That play was so unfortunate. I blinked up here and I got stuck on these boxes and I could not walk forward. But I did absolutely map two of those kids before I went down. So here I'd blink in with the shotgun now, absolutely smack this guy before he even knew what his own name was. Blink up, saw this guy, got a nice blast on him, and then finished him off with a sidearm. Now I have another Nova Warp play for you guys here, starts to be smacking that guy and then flying in and popping my Nova Warp on this guy, because you gotta remember that initial proc of it is going to do some damage and blow anybody up. Got a nice double piece here and then flew in over here because I saw somebody on the oil drum. He jumps right into me and I take him out. Unfortunately I wasted way too much energy shifting around and that screwed me over so I couldn't get any more burst off and kill anybody else. Here we have another good showcase of how even if you're low on the magazine, you can go ahead and shoot that laser still. So I take him out and I charge the laser up and take his body out for a nice two piece. Now here we have another good play with a Nova Warp. I saw this man in front of me and instead of going for the shotgun battle with him, I decided just to pop on him and take him out. There was a guy to my left, but I saw this man on the radar and he was low. Unfortunately that was not in range, but I took him out the second time. I saw the door behind me here was about to open up, so I went, charged up my attack, and took him out. He unfortunately froze me right before he died, and that screwed me over because I couldn't get another burst off on his teammates. But I was able to blink, they lost where I was, and I got a nice two-piece here off the end. So here I have an example of one of my favorite rotation points on this map. Blink right through this little part here, hit a nice shotgun shot on him, and then took out his buddy. Unfortunately, he didn't die from the shotgun shot, so I had to turn around and take him out with my pistol. Now this place was nice, I saw the enemy was distracted, so I slid in, used the laser, and took out both of these guys with basically no contest. I saw this man in front of me, I wanted to go for a laser on him, but I really should have just pulled out my shotgun. Oh, actually, I had no ammo, so I just punched him and blew him up. Now, if you like Nova Warp today, it's a good video for you. Now, I almost was in a very bad position here, but my super came up at that exact moment, so I decided to pop and took these two guys out for a little bit of a heal. This man jumps right into me, and I take him out for a three-piece. Now, I saw this guy running, and I was trying to catch up to him, and I was almost there, but my teammates took him out before I could reach him. Alright, this next one's pretty simple, but it's a nice blink play. You can always blink right over this box, slide on in, take out this guy, flicked over, and took out this guy. Wouldn't have died unless he had that rift. Now, I am going to teabag at the end of this play, but I want you to know that it's only because I got bagged first by the second guy I kill here, and he fucking deserved it, all right? I smacked him right there, he deserved it, all right? That's the only reason I would do it, I only do it when somebody else starts it. And that's one of my favorite places is to flank from. If they're capturing B, you can flank right over that, fly in, and took these two guys out while switching to my sidearm. And I actually got froze here, and I did wish I to show you, I thought it was over for me, man, but somehow I broke out of that freeze and I managed to live. All right, so this play starts off with a good laser straight to this guy's dome. I saw his friend was running away, so I decided to blink in and I mapped him very well. There is a man up here in this hallway here. I tried to free fire with the laser, but it took a little too long to charge up and he was smoking me. So I did retreat for a second and teammate took him out for us. I decided to keep pushing because I saw some pings on the radar here. Pre-fired the laser and took this guy out and decided to start reloading. Luckily, the teammate drops the stagger rift so I can get some extra damage resistance and it helps me take out the second guy. So we get a good sidearm here play with the laser especially. I look over here, see this man flying up and just take him out. When they're immobile in the air like that, it's the best time to just absolutely laser them. I took another pre-fire with the laser there just in case somebody was coming because I saw the radar pings but they weren't. This man was AFK looking up at the sky for a flying saucer but he couldn't find one. I flicked over back to this guy and took him out with the laser for a nice little three piece. 
So starting out here, you can throw a nice Axion Bolt through that doorway, and it'll go tagging whoever was capturing the A site. I decided to hold down my laser in case anybody pushed the doorway, but they didn't. We got some assists from the teammates, and I saw my other teammate going in, so I decided to blink through the doorway and take it to the enemy. Now, I ended up pushing him and this other guy and took them both out, flipped around, launched the laser, and got a nice little three-piece to start off the game. So this play starts with me get absolutely roasting an arc staff. You can see it has some pretty good damage. I saw another guy jumping up and I tried to map him, but unfortunately he had a little bit of health left that I couldn't finish off. I knew they were in that middle part though, so I decided to rotate around at this door. I took a lot of shots with the regular pistol and then switched to the laser to take out a second guy. Now, one of the enemies pushed forward and they decided to start capping C, so I went ahead and just fired some shots and finished him off. I'm not going to leave you guys hanging on the Nova Warp, so you have another good play here. I saw they were capping C. I wasn't able to stop them, unfortunately, but I got a nice double piece off that, and I saw their little buddy waiting up here for me. And luckily, he stayed around just so I could finish him off. Waiting over here, I saw the fourth guy, and then got a nice little four piece of my Nova Warp. Here, we're going to begin with a highly contested A site. I slid in and immediately threw down a rift so I could maintain health through the battle. I threw an Axion Bolt and then absolutely mapped that guy with a nice headshot with my shotgun. I knew I could shoot twice on that guy, so I did. While picking up his ammo, I slid back in, my slide shot reloaded my shotgun so that I could take this guy out even though I melee whipped and secure a nice three piece. Now this is going to be a bit of a longer play. We have a highly contested C here. This guy tried to face off with me, but I was able to take him out with a regular sidearm with some nice headshots. I looked in here and threw my Axion Bolt because I knew they just captured C. I got a few bolts on him, which was enough for the Axion Bolt to go and grab his booty and pick that cow up. Now I decided to start capping C myself and I could bait the enemies in. It was already working as I saw them on the radar and my teammate was holding that position up top, so I took this guy down. Uh, down the down low. I saw the enemy pushing up top, so I charged the laser again and took him out with some nice headshots. I saw there was more enemies up there, but he decided to come down here, so I went in and with my slide shot shotgun took him out. There was another enemy that spawned in front of me, so I decided to link over and take him out with two quick shotgun shots to secure the end of the play. Now this play I saw some enemies on my radar, so I had to blink forward and I saw this guy right next to me, so I stopped, slid in, and took him out. I had to blink over these guys or they would have riddled me with bullets and kill me instantly. I mapped him pretty well and took one pistol shot and took him out, and then channeled the laser so I could secure the save on C. Beginning this play I blinked in, this guy was already low so I took him out with a shotgun blast. I screwed my blink up here because I hit this pole, but it actually worked out pretty well. It stopped me from going straight into two guys. I did an Axion and a sidearm kill and took that guy out. I was looking over to my left on the radar and I saw this guy, he was completely unaware that I was even there, so I took him out really quick. Now this guy was lagging like crazy and like teleported away from me, so I couldn't kill him. So at the beginning of this play I was trying to bait people into my super, because I knew I wanted to turn around and use it, but unfortunately nobody went through the doorway. I kind of got stuck on the doorway for a second, but I was able to get out and pick up a double kill. Now this next guy was doing his best cosplay of an absolute coward and waiting all the way over there with an SMG, but I was able to get in and knock his socks off, and then somehow I got shot in the toe even though it wasn't showing and I got killed. Now this is just a little shotgun play, I'm going to blink up here, take out this guy, and I do shotgun kill this guy that was floating in front of me, but I was just lagging for a second, but you can see there I did secure it. On this play I saw some enemies in front of me so I decided to pull out my shotgun and fly forward. The teammate already killed everyone but one so I was able to help him out and take that last guy out, charge my laser, and take this guy out across the aisle. I then saw he wanted to push towards C and decided I'd go up and help him. So I blinked forward here, probably could have got a better blink, but it was still pretty good. A nice two pump to finish off that guy, and we went and captured the C flag. Well that's all the plays I have for you guys today, but hopefully you see that it's a pretty fun build. I had a good time using it. The first clips were not as good. As soon as I really started understanding the sidearm more, and got into using it, I had a lot more fun and got a lot more better plays. A good amount of the time I was just running around shotgun aping because I love that shotgun so much. The Wastelander is one of the best recent weapons we've had introduced to the game in my opinion. If you agree or not, let me know. But I love that thing. And I have a new perspective on the Devil's Ruin and I might pull it out every now and again if I want to have some fun and fool around. All that being said, if you have your own build that you like to use, Leave it down in the comments, and I'll get to it eventually. I know a couple of you have that build on some other videos, comment sections, and trust me, I will get to them. I only have so much time in the day, and when the builds have something like a sniper in or whatnot that I don't usually use, then that would take more time for me to get good clips, and that's just how it goes. So sometimes I have to take some extra time. But I always try my best to get out videos to you guys as quickly as I can while also making them as high quality as I can. All that being said, I think I'm about to wrap it up here. So if you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload in the future. And that's all for me today. Have a great day, Guardians.